What up, YouTube family? This is your boy again, Jonathan Evans. And listen, I'm excited. Do I know you? Do I know you? Man, that's the question. I want to know, do I know you? Do I know you or do you just know me? Have you ever been in a situation where you've been around somebody, they've been around you and you know you should know their name, but you don't? Like they've been in your vicinity for so long. You've seen them, you know, where you hang out. You've seen them at church. You've seen them just around about in your friend groups. They've been around for a little while, but you have no idea what their name is. And then that certain circumstance comes where they come up to you and they start talking to you and you're kind of nervous on the inside because you don't know their name, but you're hoping like somebody comes over and calls their name while you're talking to them. So then you can act like you know their name. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And then that real embarrassing moment comes where they say, hey, Jonathan, do you know my name? And <laughs> yeah, can you remind me again? You know what I'm saying? Like that moment right there, I can't stand that moment. It happens to me a little bit too often where people are expecting me to know their name, but I just don't know their name. And they're expecting it because they've been around. They've even maybe have done something for me in the past. They've kind of worked in my vicinity. They've kind of been in my, you know what I'm saying? My, my, my just sphere of influence. They've just kind of and so the expectation is because they were close that they were in. The expectation was because they were close that we knew each other's name or the expectation was because they knew my name, that automatically meant I knew their name. And everybody has experienced that where someone knows you, but you really don't know them. And Matthew 7, there was a group that said, we prophesied in your name, Jesus. We cast out demons in your name. We did all of these works in your name. And Jesus said, but I don't know your name. Depart from me because I never knew you. Do you know it's possible for you to know Jesus, but Jesus not know you? Do you know it's possible for you to do work for the king, but the king's work not work for you? Do you know that these people knew Jesus's name and Jesus was like, who are you again? The question today is, does he know your name? The question is not just simply, do you know his name? 85% of Americans claim to be Christian. 85% of Americans claim to, that, that they're in the book of life, that they're saved, that they know his name. And the question that I have for the 85% of the people who claim that is not, do you know his name? The question is, does he know your name? And a lot of people think, well, I've done the work. I've lived the best life I could. I'm, I'm doing the best I can. I try to treat people right. I try to, you know what I'm saying, go to church. I try to be around the right people. I try to say the right things. I try to do what I can to make sure that the Lord notices me and not even more than that, not even as small as that noticing me, but actually knows me by name. And just like the people in Matthew seven who thought that their works meant that they were close enough to Jesus for Jesus to know them and he didn't, your works will mean the same thing. That by works, no man will be justified, the Bible says. In Galatians 2.21, it says that I do not nullify the grace of God. If righteousness can come through acts of the law, then Christ died needlessly. Ephesians 2.8 and 9 said it is for by grace that you have been saved through faith. It is a gift from God, not through works so that no man can boast. Romans 4, 4 and 5 says the man who works earns his wages, but the man who does not work yet believes in Jesus Christ, he is righteous. Even in Genesis 15, 6, it says Abraham believed and was credited righteous. Jesus knows your name and puts your name in the book of life, not by your work, but by his work. And you placing your faith, your life, your trust totally in the Jesus Christ by Christ alone through faith alone, because of his grace alone, 
Can a man be saved? And can a man or woman's name or a child's name or a senior's name, anybody's name, be written in the book of life? It's not going to be because of what you did. It's only going to be because of your faith in what he did. That's the only way your name gets written down. And so many people, unfortunately, hopefully not, that they're listening to this video and we share this video, but so many people are going to make the claim when they see the king, I knew you. So that's why I did what I did. I knew you. So that's why I treated them the way that I treated them. I knew you. So that's why I went to church. I knew you. That's why I got married in church. I knew you. <laughs> that's why I was born into the church. And that's why I died and got buried into the church. I knew you. That's what I did, what I did, where I went, where I went. And why I gave my best. And Jesus will say, well, that's all nice. But you can be raised in the church, married in the church, buried in the church, be nice to people, do good things. Go to the right places, talk nicely, whatever you want to come up with. But the book of Isaiah still says all your righteous acts are like filthy rags in front of a holy God. You can't do enough for me to know your name. But if you call upon the name of the Lord Jesus, by that name, you can be saved and he know your name. I know you want to do it by performance. But you need to understand that salvation is not achieved, it's received. You need to understand that salvation is not achieved, it's received. Now that doesn't mean that we don't work when we receive it. A receiver receives the ball. And when he receives the ball, <laughs> now he gets to work because of the grace, because of the mercy, because I couldn't work to earn his favor. My gratitude pushes me into a totally different lifestyle because he actually knows my name. Because we actually have a relationship now because of forgiveness and reconciliation, because of his perfect work for my life, his death and resurrection. And when you give your life to Jesus Christ, when you put your life truly in his hand, not just because Christendom says so, not just because ah, everybody else is doing it or not just because uh, uh, it seems right, but you really want to give your life to Christ and you really give everything over to him and you believe in him, give your life to him, trust in his life, death and resurrection for your sins. Then he knows your name writes it in the book of life to never be erased and when you see him with all of your failures with all of your sins and you say Lord I gave you my life I wasn't perfect I know my work falls short but I put my life in your hands do you know my name and that's when you hear well done, my good and faithful servant. I know your name. Jonathan, David, Sarah, Rebecca, Kanika, Kelsey, Josh. That's going to be a day when because of your faith in him, his work for you, his death and resurrection, where he calls you by name and he says, welcome in. That's what it's all about. Share this message. Come to Christ if you haven't already. Give him your life so that you can work. But don't think that your works means that he knows your name. Listen, pray this prayer with me. I want to pray with you. Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner and today I want to give you my life. I've been trying to work. I've been trying to do my best but I know that falls short. Lord, today I just give it all to you. I trust you with my life. I believe in your life for me, your death for me, your resurrection, and I put all of my faith in that. 
for my salvation. Forgive me of my sins right now because I know that I cannot save myself. I need you. Today, I'm asking you to truly know my name. Not because of who I am, but because of who you are. In Jesus' name, amen. Be steadfast, unmovable, always abound in the work of the Lord, and know that it will not go in vain. Do I know you? (laughs) Who cares if he does? That's what's important. Listen, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, share this video, become a part of the crew, become a part of the team, and uh, let's continue to grow together. Let's go.